Hey everybody and welcome to part 3 of Spyro! A new beginning, well the legend of Spyro. So in the last episode we freed Voltier. The time has come for me to teach you the power of electricity Spyro. Okay. Use your electric stream to zap these enemies. Okay, use R. Whoa. Okay. Um, you don't hold it down, you just tap it. Holding it down? No, you can hold it down. In the game, it, like, in the description of the game, or, like, uh, game facts, it says that you can two-shot enemies with the electric stream, but not really. Your electric arc will, uh, attack, will home, yeah, home in on enemies from a distance. I don't know why. I feel like it doesn't really home in. I feel like you got to still aim it. Ah, lots of gems, though. Thank you very much. Ah, uh, when you have collected enough purple gems, you can perform an electricity fury. This calls up thunderous electrical storms, which obliterate any enemy on the screen. And so it's literally just the same attack. Here we go again! Electrocute everything! So simple. I am impressed with your progress, young dragon. Never forget to trust in your own ability, Spyro. Thank you, Voltier. You must go. Cyril needs your help. Press select to change between brother. Okay, that's what select does. And I believe this is high planes. You must prove or prove. You must move quickly, young Spyro. Our fate depends on you. Find Cyril in the shrine. The Atlawa may be able to help you. They are a proud tribe driven underground by Cinder's forces. I'll do my best. Me too. Oh, okay, you guys are just gonna follow me everywhere now? Armadillo, a new powerful enemy. It's not really actually powerful. Golem, right? Rubble Brute. I feel like punching rocks kills him faster because your breath have like recharge and like invincibility screens. I guess like frames. Whoa. I got a, a Facebook message at like the weirdest time because it actually made me jump at the same time I got hit by an enemy, so it's like, wow. And I feel like the electric attacks do not work good on these enemies. But yeah, so I did go over how many like worlds are in the game and stuff, and it shouldn't take too long to beat this game. Especially at this rate. Oh. Oh yeah, these are just red versions of the same enemies that we've already faced. Oh, they are totally fried. Sucks to be them. We have yet to die in the game though, so that's good. And see, they like survive the electric attacks like it's weak. You know what? Electrocute everybody! Destroy them all! Wow, that guy did not incinerate the same way. Like, I don't even need to collect gems. Like, they don't really do anything, so I'm not gonna go out of my way to, like, find every single cluster. Because they don't really benefit you that much. They benefit you just as much as a celebrity benefits you. They're just here for your amusement. That's literally it. Um... Yeah, I'm having issues with their health bars popping up when I'm attacking them. You guys see that? I think it's insane. So part one's already up. I have part two scheduled for tomorrow. Which is the 26th. Today's the 25th. So, yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying this LP. I also have Pokemon Black going up at the same time. And I am not chasing that enemy because it didn't even go down there. It didn't even respawn. So, okay, it's completely gone. Okay, it's like you're not allowed to attack them right away. I don't know why, but just because, I guess. Also, I just realized not every enemy drops you blue gems. Very rare that you actually get blue gems, especially at this point in the game. Yeah, see, no blue gems. I don't believe blue gems come out of the crystals. At least I haven't seen any yet. You know, screw you. Who's that? I am Kane, leader of the Atlawa. Get out of my way. I have important work to do. Can we help? No. Far too dangerous for you. I need no help. Fine, you big meanie. Okay, so we're going to continue on anyway, as if we're not supposed to help him. Okay, I guess it is a two-shot. It's just really weird because the electric attacks are so delayed. And Oh, man. And depends on... Okay, you know what? Let's use this attack. I wish it would take less time to do this, though. I do love thunderstorms in real life. 
Oh, you still cheap shot at me, fool. Man, these guys are not nice. Like, they are not nice at all. What? That darn commander has so much HP. Ah, oh, I hit him way after he lost all his health game. Thank you very much. Where did all the soldiers go? I am ready to fight. We already took care of them all. Watch, K needs no help. Leave me alone. Nice guy, isn't he? Wait, why was Spyro's text in yellow again? I feel like that was supposed to be a Sparks dialogue section, but it wasn't. I believe there's like five screens to this world. I, I honestly forget how many I read. And, you know, I'm just gonna go over. I take the crystals. Goodbye. Oh god, there's a golem here. You know what? Screw it. Golems have too much HP. Let's kill them. We need four clouds. Like, why four, man? Oh god, there's another one actually. Ah, I almost made it over to this ledge. Okay, Golem, you... You wanna fight me, Biatch? Here, eat my electricity. And that armadillo was just always out of range. This would be sad if this was the wrong way the entire time. Be like, nope. Uh, arrow to go up? I guess, telling us to go this way? Like, there was a little... You would've told us if there was, like, death goo down there, though. Uh, this area in the actual, like, platform version, or like the, uh, I guess like just console version of the game is a lot harder. Like, this world is obnoxious with some obnoxious puzzles. I did not enjoy it, though it was a beautiful level. It was probably the most difficult for me to find out where to go. Oh, I don't have enough. And there's Death Goo down there. Go figure. Ow. Oh, I didn't actually get hit. At least this interrupts our attacks. Oh, yeah, those double kill shenanigans going on. Also, why did you not double jump, Spyro? Why did you not double jump? Now we have to go through all this again, and the enemies do respawn, and we do lose all our purple gems, which really does suck. Actually, no, we did die before. Never mind. I forgot that we did die to the uh, goo before, because for some reason he has an issue jumping over freaking uh, um, ledges. We're almost out. Knock him into the goo. No! Why does he not jump? He does not jump right there, guys. Like, every time. Like, look, jumping is fine here. Die! I always forget that I have the uh, L button attack. I just, I don't use it very often. It doesn't seem that good, especially since these guys take a while to actually... Um, my cat just, like, wobbed himself on the table. But, like, since these enemies have, like, invincibility time before they actually attack you... Okay, I have to jump way before that sign, apparently. Who would have thought it? Okay. It's so framey and so lamey. That's what you call Amy from 9-9. Lamey. I should really like 99. I was very weary on watching it, but then it turned out to be a really good, funny show. I personally enjoy it quite a bit. Can you guys, like, die already? You guys do way too much. Can I get, like, armor in this game? Hey, a Dreadwing. Probably, like, the lamest enemy in the game because they never seem to attack. And a checkpoint, duh! Here we go. Electrocute these guys. I don't want to die to them on these floaty islands. It's funny how it tells you there's like death goo down there, but it's literally just a cliff, and I'm pretty sure there were cliffs in this level beforehand. Oh man, electric breath is so OP. Like, it really honestly is. Oh yeah, this guy's just gonna be extremely annoying to take. You know what? There's a golem up there. Let's kill them both. Okay, they're taken care of. Don't want to deal with a golem because they're just kind of pointless. I forget who we're trying to find again. Oh, enemy gauntlet. I have no time for your enemy gauntlets. Also, today's the first day I haven't taken painkillers for my tooth, so I'm seeing if it gets bad or not. 
So if I go off crying like a little baby, it's probably because my tooth is severely in pain. I also have ginger ale for my upset stomach from taking all the medication. Wow, baby enemies? Pasha, man. Oh, I shot my breath the wrong way. And I love that. Oh, Kane, what do you want? You, what do you want now? We need to get to the shrine to rescue someone. Rescue the big dragon? Impossible! Well, okay, I'm gonna go in this cave, which is probably where the dragon is. Because, you know, that is the way I roll. Uh-huh, uh-huh, I like it, totally. There we go, took care of him. Oh, yeah. Wait, can I, like... There we go, like, jeez, I wanted to use my attack. But for... You were on screen, by the way! This enemy was clearly on screen, you guys seen that. It's supposed to kill all enemies on screen. For some reason, that one didn't. Oh gosh, I need more power. Maybe I'll level up here. At least I think blue is level up. Like I said, I'm not entirely sure. I'm going to the shrine to save my people. Well, we're coming too. Never! It's too dangerous! Yeah, how does he, like, surpass us? Because we always go ahead of him. Does he, like, teleport? And here we go. This must be the shrine. This must be the, uh, screen with the shrine. And long time no armadillo! I'm gonna call you Amy Armadillo from now on. Oh, there's a golem. Oh, there's something underneath the golem. Oh, enemies. Okay, I'll execute them all. I do want to try and get that blue bar full again, so... Let's finish off a bunch of these enemies. Oh, of course, a big guy. Ah, oh, god, that attack sucks so bad. Oh, he cheap shot me. He is a royal meanie. Ow. There's gotta be just crystals up here. Okay. Maybe I'll just grab them. For the chance to potentially level up. And there I go. I still miss fighting, like, the, uh, trolls and stuff. The trolls were easy. God, you should be dead, man. Oh, that sound effect was weird, like the game froze, but this is the enemies. Man, I feel like... Oh, I was gaining uh, powers from the uh, other enemies there that I killed. I'm like, wait, why am I not running out of my attack? Oh, we got turrets to defeat. Wait, I don't have any purple gems. God darn it. I didn't get to hear the... Oh, there we go. I think we leveled up. Oh, yeah, we do do more damage now. Nice. Can you guys just all die already? Thank you. The turrets are just annoying because they're able to hit you from farther away. I am also stuck. Oh, yeah, yeah. If I die to this enemy just because I got stuck, I will be angry. Better give me health, fool. Eh, a little bit. Not bad, though. Better than nothing. Okay. Uh. Actually, you know what? I got the, what I came for. You will be struck down with my fury, Rubble Brute. Oh, god darn it, Kane. You will have to beat me in a race if you want to go to the shrine. Ready, set, go! Oh, man. This again? Alright, okay, made a jump. We can't charge in this game. Sherry? Oh, that was cheap. Because enemies, or enemies, he doesn't get affected by the enemies. Oh, this is, this is BS. The fact that I have to fight him No! Thank you. Alright, get out of the enemies. 
Oh god, he just like decided to fly. Have you? You have beaten me. I will allow you to pass. About time. God, that was scary. Congratulations, you win. And now we're in the shrine. Which literally looks like the rest of the level, to be honest with you. Everything always looks the same. You know what? I really don't want to fight golems. They're... Okay, these armadillos like to fall. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Just incinerate. Also, there's a turret shooting needles at us. They don't shoot bullets. They sh or, like, fireballs. They shoot needles. So weird. Alright, checkpoint. Also, uh, I missed a crystal cluster up there. That was, that was a bummer. I think we're about to level up and gain some more damage against these enemies. So let's kill some of these tough enemies, see if we get some more experience. I'm always up for some more. No, no experience. Why do people say, like, electric breath two shots enemies? It's, like, never two shots enemies. Like, ever. I have yet to choose two shot enemies with it. Well, except for, like, the basic enemies, but sometimes it takes three. Be careful! The god of the shrine is angry. We will be careful. Thank you, Kane. I think this is a boss fight. Let's be really quiet this time. There's nothing here. Roar! Ah, not again! It's literally the exact same fight, by the way. Except, I believe he just has more health, which makes him slightly more difficult, I guess. Like, look at this. This is... I'm just gonna run out of breath before I can literally do anything. Yeah, I'm out of breath. I gotta wait for him to attack. Come on, ow. Ah, oh, the rocks are what are gonna do it, aren't they? Yep. Ow. It's, like, he doesn't even do a lot of damage. Well, that attack was a waste. God darn it. God, you can't always attack, which is really weird. And you only get, like, enough to get a little bit back. I'm gonna go where he can't actually hit me with rocks. Ow. I swear that attack always gets me. Yeah, that time we got three. Okay, that one had a lot of green gems in it. Thank you. Like, the fight itself is extremely easy, and you take so little damage from bosses compared to basic enemies, it's not even funny. Like, it's really honestly stupid how that happens. Like, oh, you're a boss? You do, like, a quarter of the damage normal enemies do to me. Wow, I didn't get a single rock that time. Like, you can't jump. And there's no charge attack. So you're just supposed to fly like the entire time, which is annoying, but god darn it, man. Oh, I actually got hit by the spin attack that time. Apparently there's like one boss in the game, though, that isn't like the rest of the bosses. So it'll be kind of interesting to take him on. I believe his name is Steam. Come on, do your punch. But, 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 but. Oh, one rock, and of course it's the one that hit me, too. Yay, my one attack that I got off. Because then you gotta wait for him to do the exact same attack pattern. Spin, punch, and then rocks. It's not even, honestly, fun at that rate. It's like the same thing over and over, man. And boom! You are out of here, Sentinel. You have saved my tribe. They wish to worship you. Worship, that's more my style. Jolly good show, if I do say so. Mighty impressive. We should return to Ignite and Volt here. Thank you, Spyro. You are one of the Atlawa now. So Cinder has the orb from Cyril as well, and yep, there we go. There's the overlapping text, because for some reason the game doesn't understand how to get out of that. I've got a thing or two f to show you about the power of ice, my boy. Use your ice shards to freeze these enemies. Okay. It doesn't really help because, like, I can't... 
like freeze them if they overlap. Okay, that was meh. Use your ice cloud or wait, sorry. Your ice cloud attack can be fired at enemies from a distance to freeze them. Okay, so ice doesn't really seem like it's going to this is I guess it does do damage to them, so I guess it's a little different than I was expecting. When you have collected enough purple gems, you can perform an Ice Fury. The summons Freezing Winds to shatter and melt all enemies on screen. Shatter and melt? That seems, sounds weird. How do Freezing Winds shatter and melt? Ice Fury! Oh god, that sounds so painful to those poor enemies. Not bad. Not bad at all for you, youngster. Be careful in your quest, Spyro. Thank you, Cyril. Time to leave, I think. There's important work to be done. Ooh. Ew, it smells like rotten eggs. That's the brimstone and lava, silly. We're inside a volcano, after all. Still smells bad. So anyways, in the next episode, we will be doing the volcano level. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.